Hello, I'm down on Santa Monica Beach and I have my new James Bond uh, spy cam sunglasses with me and I want to just do a little bit of a re review of them and tell you how they go. So I'm recording with them now so you can hear the audio. They have um, a stereo microphone. I found that um, when I first got the glasses they did pick up a little bit of um, wind noise. So what I've done is just stuck a little bit of gaffer tape over the mic and I think that sort of cut it a fair bit and as you can listen to some of the things I've recorded over the last couple of days I've recorded conversations on bikes uh, talking to people and the audio has come up fine so pretty happy Hello. with that Do you have any video sunglasses? No None at all? No oh. They're hard to get aren't they? Uh, I still not buy them Oh alright yeah. Thank you No worries It records in 720p high definition uh, has a little camera right between the eyes, fairly unnoticeable on the glasses. Uh, they have a design like a, an Oakley pair of sunglasses. They are actually a good pair of sunglasses too. They've got polarised lens which come in uh, two colours. I went for the bronze yellow sort of lens. I wanted a sort of lighter lens and I've tried wearing them at night and you can, you can wear them you know, into at night if you so wish. I think for every uh, documentary filmmaker, they dream of just getting those candid shots where you're actually just capturing real life. And walking around with these sunglasses is probably the closest I've ever got to it. It's fantastic. I've always got a camera with me. Sure enough, you can do that with a mobile phone, but it's HD, um, you're wearing the glasses, no one knows you're filming, that is an added bonus. You're not going to be walking around with a HD camera stuck to your hat. You know, but you, you can pull your phone out, but people know what you're doing. With these, you can be filming, and no one knows. And and I just think that's a, a fantastic little tool to have in my arsenal. Ah, it's starting to look good. Um, I've got the eight gigabyte model. There is a sixteen gigabyte model, so I can record for about two hours with these glasses. This model costs two hundred dollars. We're rolling, adventure goddess. We're rolling with the video sunglasses. That's right. And I just want all of you to know, if anybody tells you that Muscle Beach is in Venice Beach, they don't know what they're talking about. Muscle Beach is right here in Santa Monica. It's where it started. It's where it is. It's where it will always be. And I can prove it with that sign right there that says Muscle Beach, Santa Monica, California. The original location. Some of the problems with them, what, what have I found in using them? I realise that we move our head a lot as we walk. You know, you can wear them when you're walking, but we do move our head a lot. And, and although they've got a stabiliser, there is a lot of movement. And this can affect, affect the focus and the exposure. Um, so they're best if you're, say, sitting down or moving your head very slowly. So there is a bit of an art to using them. G'day. Have you got a camera too? A video yeah, camera? Huh? Have you got a video camera in those glasses too? I've also found that the camera is sort of facing straight ahead so sometimes you sort of have to put your head down a bit to get what you're seeing. Um, it's sort of got an upward facing lens so just, you've just got to angle your head down a bit. Uh, so it takes a bit of practice using them and even just not moving your head around so much. But, but it's very hard. Oh, they're, they're a brand called Quiver HD. Oh. But pretty much you just press the side there. Yeah, cause I, cause I'm testing it out. I've just got them, so I want to test them. To operate the glasses, you press the button on the side and hold it for two seconds. There is a click when it starts, and I found that there's a little bit of a lag while recording. So I usually wait for a couple more seconds if I'm doing a voiceover or something, if I'm recording audio. There is also a green flashing LED light on the inside of the glasses. Um, and I've found if I've recorded, every time I've pressed, done this technique of pressing and counting for two seconds, it's always worked. But I've, sometimes if I want to check that I am recording, at the end of recording I take the glasses off, have a look, and if I see the green LED flashing, I know it, the camera's running.
you can connect the glasses to a computer by USB to load footage and to charge your battery. The battery is built in and it gives about two hours or 70 minutes of straight recording time. So the Overlander's rating on the uh, Quiver HD video sunglasses, well worth having. If you're into, ca into your camera work, um, they add another bow to your production kit. You're not going to, like our Hero HD, you're not going to be using them all the time, um, but for certain situations, uh, they're just going to add so much to what you're doing.